Jeff, I made short ribs from scratch the other night before I knew these were going to be in the show. I wish I'd waited because <laughs> it took me about three and a half hours in the oven. And sure, they were fall apart tender, but there was a lot of work involved in all of that. Well, th then I came home the night before the snowstorm. And these were probably sitting on my front porch. You got a gift from I don't know who. I don't know. Maybe it was GZ and maybe it was Happy to Meet You, the, the, the company that you partnered with. This is extraordinary because now you and Happy to Meet You used a method called sous vide to sous -vide. cook these perfectly. Sous vide sounds funny. Been doing it since the 70s, actually. It's cooked under pressure. That's all it means. Mm -hmm. And the French, everything it sounds French is great, right? Who would think sous vide means cooked under pressure? <laughs> and so this, when I do it at my restaurant, takes not one, not two, three hours, right? Right. You have to cut everything up. You have to braise it. It's a tough cut of meat, right? It's a short, it's a, it's a rib, so you got to cook it a long time. This, we've done it for you. And there are no bones in this. No now, bones. It was probably cooked with bones at yes. one point. So oh. it takes three hours to do this. This will take you 10, 15 minutes maybe max to heat up. You can do it in the microwave. You can do it on a sauce in a sauce pot. Now I have this a is pot how here. it comes. So you can cut it down the middle here yes. to create portions if you don't yes. want to eat all all six of the short ribs. It, it'll be hard not to. Yeah, exactly. Um, I might have eaten five. And it's important also to let this thaw out. So I let this yep. thaw in the refrigerator. Correct. Your very easy to follow instructions talk about three methods. Either put it in simmering water, which is what I did. Yes. In uh, the package. In the stovetop. In the oven. For about 15 to 20 minutes yep. in the simmering water. Or in the microwave. I like the package of simmering water because it's just you want to keep the juices all together. Mm. And for me, this is really good meat. This is um, pasture raised corn fed. What does that mean? Pasture means these cows and cattle are out eating grass right. all day long. And then what they do at the very end of their, their uh, what, before they're just going to be uh, uh, sold, sure. they corn feed them. And the corn gives that beautiful little beefy flavor to them. Oh, so this good. is premium meat. Uh, I work with. Uh, happy to meet you. This is amazing. They were 2023 winner, uh, best new food on QVC. This reduces 10 to 15 minutes from three to four hours. It is delicious. It's one of my favorite things. We have enchiladas. We have them on polenta. We have them a little skillet eggs. We have a, a surf and turf. We have with polenta. We have a, a sandwich. We have it beautiful. You had it over mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes, and I'm going to put some here, David. And this is my uh, new pot, which we're debuting tonight. Oh. A little handle right there. See how steamy, beautiful. A little pot paradella, right? And do you talk about a cold winter's night? I don't know about you, but if you're in the Northeast right now, we're in Pennsylvania. It well, is cold. I was the other night when it was so cold. Oh, so it is cold. Night, I served mine over whole wheat pasta and served <sighs> it with steamed broccoli, and it was delightful. Now, take some of that. Uh, that jus. This is right from the bag. Yeah, right I haven't, from the I haven't bag. done it. You can add butter and red wine, but I made it so you don't have to. You want to make it richer, add some butter, maybe some sour cream, almost like a little uh, Alsatian style, but you don't have to. I add some fresh herbs here. I add a little bit of salt and pepper, but it's just your own taste. I, I like to keep the natural mm. juices as simple as possible so that if you want to make some, put some, throw some chilies in there, have at it. Mm. We have 1400 left. This sold out since we had it on in its debut. Yes. Now, ordinarily, it's $143 at QVC. We're saving you over 13 bucks. But what we're also saving you is about two hours and 40 minutes of time. More. Yeah, more. if not more, depending on how you're cooking these. It's important to know it took me longer to heat up the water than it did to simmer them in the water. Yeah, it, that's the beauty of this. And also, it's great in the freezer for a year. And I love this. If you want to just clip off two, you can just cook too. It's what's great about it. You talk about having something in your arsenal when the kids are hungry. Mm. Well, you don't. You're, you're about midnight. You know, it's Wednesday. They're taking tests. You didn't. You didn't plan the meal properly. You just pull them out of the freezer. Leave them on the counter. Let them defrost. And you'll have this delectable meal. A little pasta, some rice. They come beautifully packaged. Have at it. And they come in a three pack like this. I might have cooked all of it and eaten five of the six, <laughs> and then eaten the rest, the next one, the next day. This is fantastic because what you're going to love about this is that it will simmer inside the bag. You don't have to do anything. The only thing you may have to do is cut this yeah. along the uh, the uh, the side there because it makes it a little easier to deal with if you deal one at a time. Let's talk sous vide because I want to understand people to understand. See, so this is vacuum packed, then cooked. Very gentle simmer. And this white, this is the natural fat coming out. And guess mm -hmm. what? If you cook that, it'd be very hard to keep it. So nothing is left this baby. It's all here. There's nothing that's thrown away. And that fat is flavor. That's all of the flavor. And it's, it becomes like butter.
So that's why you make sure when you cut this, you save all of it because that's what you really want. Oh my and Lord. And the next day, if the, you, you haven't used these the next day, like I said, you can make a sandwich, you put them in some scrambled eggs, you can make a taco. Make a sandwich. You can make anything. Or you can eat them all by themselves, which is what I do. <laughs> um, this is fantastic. Serve it over polenta, serve it over uh, Amazing. Uh, uh, mashed potatoes, cauliflower mash, or cauliflower rice. Cauliflower whatever you rice. Love. And it is beef, so it has it's so good. And the fact that this is premium beef, it is a, a pasture raised and the herbs and everything is in here. I've done it all for you. So just trust me on this. Mm. This is so good. And I, I, I have these in my house and I'm telling you, when I'm hungry and I'm Jones in the afternoon, I go and I even cut it cold in the fridge. Do you? Oh, absolutely. And I make like a, a pan fry, put some cheese, almost like a Philly cheesesteak. Nothing and I'm done. Enough. That makes me mad. Oh, so, Rachel, come in here, my Hi, Rach. Yes, please. Here, Rach? have a bit. Now, oh, my gosh. This looks oh, amazing. Okay. Amazing fork. For you. Okay. fork. Amazing. Clean fork. <gasps> and go, I probably prefer right there. Okay. Wow, look at that meat. Yeah, and these oh short ribs are done. They're, they arrive fully cooked. Fully so cooked. All you do is thaw mm. them out yeah. and heat them up. Mmm. I've always been terrified to do anything sous vide, but this I feel like I could do well, because all I because have to all do is... Been done for we you. did yeah, it for so, you. Yeah. You, you. You don't need the machine. You just need a freezer or wow. a fridge. And that's the beauty of this. And so I cooked it in a little pot here, very mm -hmm. like uh, ordinary, but you can do it in the microwave. <clears throat> you can heat it with mm -hmm. some water, but and add... I left room in the broth for you to put butter or red wine or if you like some chile, you want it spicy, you want to put some Tabasco in there. You yeah, want to put is. a little uh, garlic powder in there, that'd be fine. Or some chopped garlic, you can do that, but you don't need to. But so this just, is just how it's already seasoned in the bag. This is it right here. Wow. And all you see... This is the way it comes. This is the... And the that's juice so that I had... Flavorful. That's just what you want to put it on. That's right. the juice it comes with. That's great. It's really flavorful, yeah. so tender, and so easy. Very easy. I'm going to have a bite. I'm yes, starving. Please. Time oh is my gosh. Oh my God. It's lunch time. Mm. Is it? It's past lunch. Mm. Imagine mm. watching a football game mm -hmm. and have this couple of glasses of wine. You're a now, happy person. Monday night, I made braised beef short ribs. Mm -hmm. It took me almost four hours mm. in the oven. They were delightful. But it's a lot of work and a lot of cleanup. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work and a lot of cleanup. You put this on and then you're done in 15 minutes. Yep, amazing. Melt in your mouth. Oh. Melt in your mouth is right. Chef, these are amazing. Thank you. Thank really you, good. David. Really, really, really good. All right. Um, Miss. Rachel. Yes, yes, yes. Darling, how's the chat going? It's going great. All right. You can stay here and eat some more because I need I, I have to. to go over this way. So you stay here with Chef and eat. Okay, perfect. And I will see you shortly. All right. Thank you. All right. Everything is on free shipping and handling. And this is the opportunity for all of you 